my guest today is Emmanuel Casada, also known as EQ. Uh, EQ is the co-founder and CEO of Utopia, a Web3 entertainment company working on some innovative IP licensing across a GameFi AI music, all that kind of stuff. NFTs are involved, of course. A welcome to the show, EQ. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for inviting me and uh, thank you for sharing your space and platform with me and the company. It is a pleasure. Let's do what we do at the beginning of the show, EQ. It would be great if you could please introduce yourself and just uh, be great if you could tell some of your personal and professional backstory, what you've been doing in the lead up to co-founding Utopia. Yeah, sure. So uh, first myself, so I come from a tech family. My dad has been in the in the uh, mm. cryptography space and technology space since the ninety eight. Um, he runs a company called ATS. ATS is one of the biggest monopolies of uh, SaaS in Mexico. Uh, we run compliance, risk management, boring <laughs> stuff uh, for multiple companies. Um, yeah, it's quite quite big. Uh, my family's company. And uh, recently, they, uh, my founder, my father, and my brother founded a political party in Mexico called Pueblo, uh, in the north of Mexico. Um, my brother is running for mayor and then for president of Mexico in twenty thirty. Um, this is uh, quite a quite a big achievement for our family. So yeah, I come for a family of tech entrepreneurs and as well, um, like let's we can say activists. Uh, we like to always fight for the rights of other people. Uh, we grew with those values. And yeah, Utopia was created uh, based on a big purpose that always was uh, on my mind. Well, not always, since I'm like 21. So let's say six, seven years ago, I discovered that all that I wanted to do in my life was uh, to protect children in the new internet and just to protect knowledge around the knowledge and content uh exposure to the younger generations obviously it's not a popular idea as we know it especially in the western world um so yeah utopia right now is is an entertainment company that is focusing on kids that is focusing on young generations and we're doing entertainment products uh, as you know entertainment has music videos games um and yeah we're doing those entertainment products for the for the young generations in the new internet that is web three yeah a uh, very nice uh mr eq and so just yeah clarify what do you mean by uh the younger generation and and the kids do you mean you're kind of creating content and uh doing deals with the ip that is kind of um i guess relevant to the younger generation yeah i can i cannot uh disclose soon but like soon i will uh we're talking about next week uh in in around 10 days i'll be disclosing but uh let's say that the most important ip if, for the people that don't know what is ip is, means intellectual property um the most important intellectual property in web 2 world uh is coming with utopia um this will be this is a big big change that the web 2 is doing uh so they're opening the doors for the web 3 to start to uh apply this and when i say younger generations um i i focus a lot on gen z if um at the beginning later on we want to go lower so gen a like uh 18 under so the actually surprisingly but 47 percent of all the uh, NFT holders are actually Gen Z, uh, the mayor ones. And those studies, they, they we, we saw that there's a massive increment in the younger generations about what is NFT and what is crypto. So we decided that if the new generations are the ones that are using the most, um, the most uh, tools in the Web3 space, well, let's give them a chance. Let's just focus on them and uh, let's make a good product for them. So yeah, right now we're working with brands in the Web2 space to bring crazy, amazing products in the Web3 space. 
And so you have a you have a, a token Ucoin uh, that is used within the Utopia ecosystem as well. Is that the case? Yes, yeah. So um, it, we have a full Web3 ecosystem. Um, you have to understand and people have to understand that, uh, yeah, there is a lot of tokens in the space, but we needed a token that we need to rely the reputation on. Um, you know that Web3 is unpredictable. You never know what is going to happen. Uh, so we, as a company that deal with large institutions, governments, and, and so on, uh, we want to have the cleanest and the most regulated uh, standards that we can achieve. That's why we decide to do our own token. So our own token is, uh, let's say, the core, the blood, the the energy, the gas of our of our ecosystem. Yeah, it's called Ucoin. So it's U dash and This is U dash coin. Uh, we're dropping the coin in the next uh, forty five days. We have good partners. We're going for the major centralized exchanges. Yeah, we will be doing some promotion in the next two three weeks around. Very nice, very nice. And I can see like you guys, you want to do some stuff with, um, I guess, sports teams, right? There's some this fo football content um, kind of through your, your white paper and website. And also um, you talk about uh, the ownership of 30 Board 8 Yacht Club NFTs. Uh, is that by Utopia or you? When, when did you get those uh, Board Apes? Yeah, hundred percent. Great, great question. Uh, you did the research, so that's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, in the Web two space, I cannot disclose a lot. Uh, yes, is football. Yes, is the major major sport. Um, we're talking about the larger largest uh, institution uh, in the world, so we need to we need to be really careful what we can say, what we cannot say. So everything that I need to say, it comes through a lawyer first, the lawyer approves, and then I can talk about it. Now, um, what we're doing is that we're mixing NFT communities with uh, the Web2 IP, right? So as you know, Bored Ape Jack Club is the number one NFT community in the world. Um, those monkeys, they've been in the space for a while and they've been doing a lot of noise. So we partner with... Um, with Elite Apes. Elite Apes is the biggest token, uh, is the biggest community of apes in the world. They are based out of Hong Kong. Um, and yeah, we we license and we um, purchase absorptions, um, 30 apes from, from Elite Apes, different rarities. All those apes are super different. And yeah, we what we are doing right now is that we're gra grabbing those apes, um, we're creating the branding of of rebranding them on into like these major sports and yeah we're mixing them to create game five like video games that have some crypto in it and so just to, to it sounds amazing and just to bring it back to i guess yeah football you're talking about there's being able to build a football dream team and it's kind of is this like a a web three game um, and there's a U pass, so you can get involved. Yeah, so uh, U pass, so high level, right? So U pass is a membership of Utopia, the first membership that we're dropping. Um, this membership allows you to have exposure to all the ecosystem. Uh, after that, you obtain this membership. You're going to have access to exclusive access, exclusive means, exclusive drops. Um, and then from there, we're going to be launching the second NFT collection. The second NFT collection involves major IP, meaning the top brands, the top uh, the top NFT communities mixing with the top brands in the web too. Um, and then we're with the games, and then we are dropping the token after, right after. So yeah, that's that's high level what we're saying. Seriously, I, I'm inside. I'm, I want to scream what is what we're doing, like who who we're talking about. But I think that by now all the people have a good idea about how good this is going to be. Yeah. All right. Sounds an intriguing EQ. Just to take a wider, if we go a bit wider then, um, just interested in your thoughts in general on the role of different IPs. 
um, in you know the the Web three era and how how you see um, yeah some of these kind of all powerful Web two IPs. Uh, I'm sure they're looking at Web three as an opportunity, and it's up to people such as yourself and and other teams, other technology entrepreneurs, to I guess steward them into the space and and make sure it's a positive result for for everyone. But yeah, what what do you see as the potential uh, for IP and and Web three? Um, so yeah, in the Web three space, there were at the beginning it was extremely effective um, to create your own IP. So you saw CryptoPunks from Dapper, uh, you saw Juga with um, um, Bored Yacht Club. Um, you saw these amazing communities emerging with fantastic IP that in the end is just an image, a super expensive image, but they give you the IP rights of that image, right? So you can monetize over that image and if you're good with it, you can do a lot of things like create your own brand, uh, sell it to someone else such as me so you guys can sell us ip if you guys want so uh the ip was always important in the web3 space and i think that we came enough uh we came late enough to realize that okay we cannot create our own ip uh one we're not that smart or <laughs> uh to create something like unique and revolutionary such as the apes or we are not that um, early to create the crypto punks or even like degen enough to create like uh, NFT or ordinals, right? So from from yeah from Bitcoin. So what we're really good at it is to find opportunities. So what we did is that uh, my partner he went to a lot of a lot a lot a lot of companies and he's always like chasing new intellectual property. It can be from artists. Uh, so the last thing that they, he, he helped with, it was Stormtroopers uh, into Sandbox. So if you go with Stormtroopers Sandbox, it, that's him. Um, Doja, he put Doja Cat into video games. He put uh, as well um, Dimitri Vegas, famous DJ, into like famous uh, video games such as Free Fire. So like there is a lot of uh, opportunities that you create uh, bringing Web2 to the, to the new internet, right? And yeah, we, we find out that it's super effective in terms of uh, user acquisition when they see something that they recognize. And because we're not that super creative, we decide, okay, sure, let's just find the best IP that we can get in order for us to create the best entertainment that we can do. And that was the, the crazy Web2 IP. And that's why the Web3 IP, that is the, the apes, uh, work so well because it's the most popular one. Uh, instead of creating our own monkeys, we just go and purchase a bunch of monkeys, and that's why we we are creating like these these products that look like high quality. Is because we're working with all quality. Yeah, makes sense. Thank you, EQ. EQ. You know, it's an interesting time in in Web three. The I guess the the crypto market is uh, looking reasonably good at the moment. You know, Bitcoin has done well this year. Uh, there's been the the meme coin uh, craze as well, um, but at the same time, it's it's a little bit quieter, I suppose, in the world of NFTs at the moment. Um, what what do you think needs to happen for Web three to have another kind of um, you know a- adoption cycle similar to what happened in in twenty twenty one? Um, everyone is talking that ETFs are going to be that thing. I don't believe it. For me, ETFs is another synthetic asset and it is a, it's a great instrument for investment, but in the end, it doesn't target the regular user. Um, we have our own strategy. So there, there is no like the perfect sauce or the, the secret sauce, uh, as some people say. I think that the secret sauce is ourselves. So it's whatever we are doing, whatever the web tree is trying to do. That is going to work and between the more people are trying their hardest to onboard that is going to happen now what we are doing is that we're targeting someone uh, else that not a lot of people are targeting that is the children um, and young generations so what utopia is planning to do is that um, we saw a big big gap in the market that is not currently being mentioned in the web3 space um, 
that is young generations. Everyone talks about women in the Web3 space. Everyone talks about DJs in the Web3 space. Everyone talks about institutions. In but no one talks about children. So Utopia is developing a wallet for kids, crypto wallet for kids with NFTs. Obviously, those NFTs, you cannot trade them. Tokens that you can have, you cannot sell them. Like That's super illegal. But uh, we work with regulators around the world to uh, creating this amazing tool that is the wallet for the children. And that is going to allow us to bring the next generation. So a lot of users, a lot, a lot of users into the web tree space. Yeah, fascinating. So, and how how young could or old could these children be? And how how do you how do you get the wallets to them and the NFTs to them? Ideally, so at the beginning we're starting with the with the standards from the video game companies. In the video game companies, you declare that they have to be thirteen plus. Uh, like you always have seven year olds kids play for it, right? So that's that's the type of uh, wallet that we're doing. Um, and as well, we've been working a lot uh, within um, financial wealth in terms of generational wealth, right? So we've been looking into okay, if we're going to give a wallet to the kids and we can give a wallet to the parents, how can we do so uh, the wallets can be transferred to the kids even if the kids are underage, right? The, the assets of the parents. So we were looking at the law of that. And right now we can say that in the next years, so at the beginning it's just a gaming com uh, a gaming wallet, but later on we're going to integrate uh, fiat payments. We're going to integrate family wallets, family wealth, where the parents can send crypto to their children. And that's the long-term vision. So yeah, at the beginning targeting is 13 plus, but Ideally, we we start from the responsibilities on the parents at what age they want to give uh, a wallet or a financial tool to their kids. Got it. Got it. Uh, what about the what about the future? You know, if you kind of look of look ahead 10, 20 years, how do you see um, Web three evolving? What are some of the use cases and possibilities that will be possible in the future as the metaverse begins to unfold and we get more and more um yeah metaverse web3 nft uh, style experiences available to the masses great great question um so in terms of web3 for me web3 includes ai so i hope that we can talk a little bit about ai so it's ai metaverse and crypto for me that's web3 uh, the secret trilogy there is going to be quantum computing so um what I see is that the Web3 is definitely going super fast. It's going faster than Web2. And there is a massive gap in the regulation side of things. So what I see is that it's a wild west. Um, you have a lot of uh, bad actors in that bad, bad uh, wild west. But as well, you have really good actors, like a few, a few good ones that are trying to change. And um, I see that in the next three, four years, there's going to be a big shift on users where users are using Web3 without them knowing. Um, the transition of, of AI, people will not realize fast that they're actually using AI. Uh, they will not realize that they're using NFT. They will not realize that there is crypto under it or blockchain under what they're using. So the transformation is um, seamless and that makes it pretty dangerous as well because the regulators don't see what is going to happen. They don't see that um, the technology is evolving, algorith algorithms are evolving, data is evolving and financial tools such as crypto are unleashed. So that's a it's a I see it as a warning call for the society. There's a big chance that a lot of things goes wrong and there is a chance that a few things go well. Yes, yes indeed. Very well said. All right. Well look, EQ, as we start to finish off, just you know, for, for people that want to learn more about Utopia and kind of learn about this idea of yeah generations or generational wealth with you know the kind of the next generation coming up and the parents and linking it all together for the future of web3 um tell people where they can go to learn more about utopia and see what you guys are building 
yeah so um if you guys can follow u-topia.com utopia.com uh, will be fantastic uh you can join the communities there will be a lot of announcements coming uh we're not doing a lot of noise so stay tuned um read as much as you guys can uh this is quiet building until it's too late <laughs> until it's too noisy to 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 hide and yeah uh if people can just follow us on telegram twitter something big is coming and um i hope that people are pretty pretty open into into this new idea of okay let's onboard the young generation now let's let's do something good for them yes indeed and you guys are going to be at um decentral dubai this year Yes, so uh, we're partnering with the Central uh, in Dubai this year. So Token Twenty Forty Nine. After Token Twenty Forty Nine, we're going to be doing uh, events as well. We work a lot with media and entertainment. So uh, we partner with DJ Bliss from Netflix. Dubai Blink is like a super famous Netflix show. Um, yeah, for like super super famous. So we're partnering with him, and uh, we're doing the Central in Dubai. Uh, we're going to have two or three parties here and there. And in the end, it's just an opportunity for us to say thank you to to all the people and yeah, to go and, and have fun with the central. Um, and yeah, just create good content that is going to help us in the next month. Awesome. Uh, sounds great, EQ. Thank you so much for coming on the show and spending some time with us today. Uh, and just again, just to close it out, again, just shout out that website and your own Twitter or wherever else you like to hang out. Yeah, so u-topia.com, uh, u underscore topia uh, in Twitter, ecosystem or labs, uh, follow up, depends on what do you prefer. And yeah, thanks. Thanks, everyone. And thanks. Uh, thank you, Andy, for, for these wonderful questions and this amazing opportunity for me in your space. Awesome. Thank you, EQ. All the best and bye for now. Speak soon. Bye-bye. All right, there you go. That was EQ from Utopia. Fascinating. Interesting. Yeah. Um, link is in the show notes to their website. Um, yeah, see what they're doing with, um, yeah, different Web3 IP properties, really. And yeah, very intriguing. Um, hey, we reached the end of another show. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was the Crypto Conversation for Brave New Coin. See ya.